Good morning, folks. This is Waylon H. Lewis from Boulder, Colorado. If you're just tuning in, give it a like or a love. If so inspired, that helps it get beyond the algorithm to all those who may not yet give a care or know about these videos or about Elephant or about the Mindful Life. So if you want have a friend who you want um, them to get some uh, mindfulness in their life, uh, this is what we talk about and this is what we practice. So basically, these videos, we discuss... Uh, mindful life tips for everyday life, or uh, from the Buddhist tradition and also just generally from life. And we um, are not presenting them from the point of view of I'm some holy guru uh, cult figure with a halo behind me, which is a good thing because I'm an idiot. Uh, but we're presenting them from the point of view of I'm on the path, you're on the path, we're on this journey together. They've been pretty fun. We often get 50,000 people tuning in in 45 minutes. Um, so I'm, uh, going to talk about something, uh, that's very important today, which is Donald Trump and democracy and how it works. So I was at a protest last night, um, and I was part of it, uh, against Donald Trump and, um, I am not a fan of Donald Trump. I can't imagine why anyone would be, let alone millions of Americans. So we're going to put that link to uh, the protest. It was peace, peaceful. It was joyful. It turned um, the sadness and the heartbreak and the gut-wrenching feeling of about to see our country get raped and pillaged into a feeling of community and joy and action and uh, civil disobedience. And protest is literally in our First Amendment. So for the many, many people last night who commented on my live video of the protest against Donald Trump, um, literally the First Amendment is about the right to, uh, of the people to peaceably assemble. And I'll remind you that Donald Trump has tweeted about protesting and revolution against Obama and others many, many, many times. So, but here's the bad news. One of the chants, a lot of the chants I loved last night, this is our democracy. Um, this is what democracy looks like. That is what democracy looks like. But here's the bad news, folks, just to give you a little Trump hand gesture. Here's the bad news. Trump is our president. This is how democracy works. Whether we're LGBTQ or Latino or Muslim American or liberal or progressive, we care about equal rights, we care about climate change, Paris Agreement, we now, thanks to voter apathy, thanks to Comey, the FBI director, giving a, a very strong hint that Hillary could be indicted for 10 of the last 12 days of the election, thanks to third party voters, and I respect your right to vote third party, but let's build a third party that can actually win instead of uh, making it a spoiler vote. And generally, overall, thanks to a relatively uh, weak candidate. Hillary had a fantastic progressive platform, but she, in her own words, and I supported her, um, said, you know, I'm an introvert. I'm not a good kind of um, extrovert. I'm not a politician. I'm, I'm not good at this stuff. I'm good at running things. I'm good at doing this and that. Um, and in terms of her secrecy and her lack of transparency, which I wasn't a fan of, obviously a woman who gets attacked in the public eye for 30 or 40 years is going to start protecting herself. So, it's not excusable, but it is understandable. So here's the bad news. Trump is our president. This is how democracy works. Unless we want the country to fall apart, we need to stop it with rhetoric like that. And we need to engage fully. Instead of trying to avoid the reality of what just happened, we need to engage fully. So how do we fight in a peaceable manner? So I have a quote. It's on Twitter. It's going around. Uh, I guess I'll call it up. Sorry. But basically, it's from a sort of Buddhist or mindful point of view, what we need to do here. La la. And I have Leonard Cohen stuck in my head today. So if you love Leonard Cohen, we have lots of beautiful articles on him. He was a Zen Buddhist. He was a wonderful, uh, a lot of my friends knew him because I grew up in the uh, Buddhist world. And um, his music, Suzanne, everybody knows so long, Marianne. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful human being. So 2016 has been a hell of a year. 
So here's my quote that I shared the other day, and it's it's gone a little bit viral, and I don't take pride in that, but I hope that it is helpful to Americans right now. Instead of pretending that Donald Trump isn't our president, which is an undemocratic notion, I don't appreciate Donald Trump. I do hope, like Obama has said, that he will turn out to be good. I have zero faith in that. Um, and he's already appointed a bunch of cronies and lobbyists, which is ironic given his drain the swamp rhetoric. And, uh, you know, Chris Christie, who uh, basically just got convicted in Bridgegate, Rudy Giuliani, Newt Gingrich, who had affairs while impeaching Clinton for having an affair. I mean, it's going to be a nasty, nasty world. He's appointed uh, the head of the EPA transition as a guy who thinks global warming is no big deal and actually might be great. So it's bad, and I'm not denying that, but we need to fully engage and realize that he is our president. He has the power to the nuclear codes. He has the power to kill the uh, Paris Agreement. He has the power to cancel health care for 20-plus million Americans, and we need to engage. So how do we engage instead of uh, remaining in denial? Instead of running away, we work harder. Instead of fighting, we peace harder. Instead of fighting hate with hate, we love harder. So how do we do that? First of all, you gotta face the facts. Number one fact is he is our president. How did that happen? This happened in 2000 as well. 2000 as well, and I was uh, young and around for that. Many of us forgot that lesson. So third party is fantastic, but news at 11, Canada has three parties and it messes them up half the time. That's how Stephen Harper, even though he never had a majority of the vote, and he made George W. Bush look like nothing, um, was able to reign in Canada for many, many, many years. 12 years or something? It's because he split the liberal vote between two parties. So three parties is not a solution, although I'm super supportive of that. And if we want to vote third party, we should create a third party starting now in local elections, in um, you know your local city council. You should run. I should run. We should all get more active. So the first number one thing we have to do is face the facts. So Comey really messed things up. 10 of 12 days, Hillary could have been indicted right before the election. I think that swung it. Third party votes, voter apathy. We need to get people to vote. So those of you who are on the phone calling people to get them to vote, I toast you with my elephant mug. And uh, we need to look at what went wrong and what went right? Remember, Hillary did get uh, a majority of the vote nationally. So it's not all her fault. It's, uh, and it's not all to Trump's credit. I've read about 40 articles about how Trump was so brilliant. I've read none about how Hillary was so brilliant, even though she got more votes. So I think that's about all I got today. I don't have some big sermon, but I think liberals, progressives third partiers, anyone who is not a huge fan of Trump needs to realize that he is our president, that we need to face the facts, that we need to engage, we need to work harder. Face the facts, feel the feelings, then action. You can't, you can't conduct mindful, effective action if you haven't engaged honestly and bravely in your own fear, in your own gut-wrenching despair in the fact that climate change, we're going to take four years off from fighting it and probably go the other direction instead of vast solar and wind farms um, and the Paris Agreement, which barely, barely might have worked, we're going to have devastation. And that's just in the green area. I mean, if you're Muslim American, if you're a young woman, if you're LGBTQ, um, if you love democracy, I mean, Trump is already tweeting that pro the protesters, um, you know, he's tweeting incredibly un-American things that protesters basically shouldn't have the right to protest. And he wants to loosen libel laws so he can sue journalists who offend him. And for anyone who read about Donna Brazil giving the first campaign question to the Hillary campaign, it just came out today from Megyn Kelly's new book that, uh, and God knows why Megyn Kelly didn't say this months ago, um, that Trump knew the first campaign question to the uh, Fox debate or to the Megyn Kelly debate. So it's a messy, messy world. So please give this a like or a love. Get this out. Let's remind progressives, liberals, 
anyone who cares about equality, conservatives, all of us, that Trump is our president, that we need to engage fully in democracy and create peace and uh, work harder. We can't do that through aggression. We can't do that through hiding. We can't do that through cowardice. We can't do that through anarchy. Um, and as Allen Ginsberg, one of the greatest protesters of the 20th century said, or activists said, aggression begets aggression. So if you want to create a bigger Trump, a bigger problem, just be aggressive. So let's not be aggressive. So I'm going to go through some comments and then we'll do two minutes of meditation. And uh, remember the message is love. And the message is be brave enough to look at what's actually happening here and out there. So I hope you all see my uh, video of the protests last night. My dog Redford had the time of his life. He uh, chanted along with the protest uh, in the form of barking. He was incredibly excited. We were marching with a bunch of friends of mine. And uh, it was pretty inspiring stuff. So good morning, Amber from Utah. If you're just tuning in, say where you're from. Maureen from Manchester. Uh, Bjort, I'm so happy not to live in the U.S. right now. See, that's the kind of sentiment I understand, but I don't really agree with because the U.S. News at 11 has the biggest military in the world, bigger than the next 10 countries combined. There is no hiding from the effect of what just happened. Bad news. My mom, who lives in Canada, immediately messaged me on Facebook and said, so are you going to move to Canada? No, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to fight in a peaceful way. If you're a fan of Star Trek and Jean-Luc Picard, I just got reminded of this one scene where the, uh, what were they called? The, the Borg in their big cube were advancing and taking everything over and turning everyone into boring robots or something. And Jean-Luc Picard in his incredible voice and his incredible, strangely British accent, given his French name, said, They advance and we retreat. They advance and we retreat. The line must be drawn here. So that's the kind of notion I feel like. We need to get our shit together, liberals and progressives. And that is not done by chanting, not my president. I get the sentiment. And I will never understand how 53% of white women in America voted for Trump, let alone millions and millions of Americans. But let's remember, voter turnout was so low for Hillary, and I get it, but you gotta look at her platform and what could have happened. We could have fought climate change. We could have advanced and fixed healthcare. This is our fault, and we need to fix it by getting more active. This is actually a calling to our higher purpose. This is a calling to service, and true joy is found in service, not in, not in hiding. <sighs> Yeah, but uh, uh, Maureen, we don't, we shouldn't be venting our collective angst in some useless gesture. We should be venting our collective angst in a constructive gesture, meaning what are you going to do today or tomorrow in the next month, in the next year, in the next two years until the midterm elections to make America a kinder place? This was our hat. It was featured on the uh, Facebook page of Bernie Sanders, CBS or NBC. It sold out. Make America kind again. I know the uh, writing is backwards on Facebook, but um, and every plant, every hat planted a tree. How are you going to work to make America kinder? Uh, Ellen, I'm not sure how I use slut shaming as a linkable marketing tactic, unless you're referring to. Uh, the first lady who has posed for nude photos. And yeah, I do think there's nothing wrong with being nude. There's nothing wrong with modeling. There is something wrong with plagiarizing. There is something shocking that we're losing Michelle and Hillary and it's being replaced by, by Melania. Um, shocking. Michelle is incredibly kind, incredibly there for people, incredibly empowered, incredibly intelligent, incredibly fired up, and now we're being presented with basically the Mad Men version of your ideal housewife, arm candy. And I say that with respect. And I, I don't think there's anything constructive here to be uh, leveled at Melania, but um, we're losing an incredible first lady right now. 
and now we're being sort of returned to this sort of Mad Men, 12-year-old uh, male fantasy land. So there's the link. Um, Ashley, I asked for the link to um, On Elephant to the protest, not to YouTube. Nancy, what about the spiritual theory of accept what is? Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. But you don't accept, you don't roll over. I think people tried that in World War II, right? In Germany before you, you know, oh, he can't be that bad. Oh, he can't be that bad. Oh, he can't be that bad. Oh, he is pretty bad. Oh, he is pretty bad. Now he has all the power. Oh, God. So, you know, at a certain point, you have to check your uh, values. And our values aren't going to be expressed in returning violence or aggression. Our values are going to be expressed in kindness through strength and strength through kindness. Good morning to Steph in Guelph, Ontario. Nancy, I don't think I'm spewing negativity. And I also uh, respect the English language. So you, you could take the time to write Y-O-U, just if you feel like it. R-A-R-E. Uh, Mariah, it was her criminality, not her introversion, that was the problem. So, if you want to talk about criminality, Trump has again and again broken the law in very concrete ways, and he has just fought it through litigation. Um, he's accepted defeat several times, so he has broken the law. Um, it sounds like you're reading kind of uh, info wars and fake news. And fake news, I appreciate your comment, because fake news was one of the other major causes of uh, this... Uh, election victory by Trump, which is that people can no longer agree on facts. It's sort of like if I said the earth is flat, or if Trump said the earth is flat, and we said, no, 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 it's round. I mean, you can look at the globe. No, 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 that globe is just a liberal conspiracy theory. Um, so, yeah, Hillary, Colin Powell, many, many, many politicians have had private servers. Uh, I'm not excusing it. I'm not defending it. But there is an understandable uh, instinct toward uh, making something private, right? And this has been evolving, technology is evolving, and it became clear at a certain point that uh, we no longer uh, permitted that. And um, she made a mistake, and she apologized for it, and she should have apologized for it sooner, and she should have been more open and transparent. But given the kind of hate that people like you spew at her, if I may, uh, I think it's understandable why she was somewhat uh, cloistered or protective. A woman who sins in the public eye, Mariah, your language is downright uh, biblical, and I don't mean that as a compliment. Mark, she was, is a horrible person. Okay. Yes, Jim, acceptance does not mean agreement. Well said. Robin, I do not hear negativity from Waylon. What I hear is information that I should care about. Yeah, Leonard. Yeah, in the light of Cohen's passing, um, Leonard Cohen's passing, we need to reflect on his quote, there's a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. Well, on that note, I got a couple other Leonard Cohen quotes for you. Oh, here's a quote from Donald Trump. We are going to do a real job on health care. I, I believe him. Um, here's another reminder from our Twitter feed. If you're on Twitter.com, get on Twitter.com slash Elephant Journal. Um, protesting is a constitutional right. Also, now that you are president-elect, this is a tweet from Lauren Duca. Your lies are government propaganda. Um, all right. Here's a quote from Leonard Cohen. Everybody knows the fight was fixed. The poor stay poor, the rich get rich. That's how it goes. And then even that um, beautiful quote, there's a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. The line or two before that quote are incredibly... Uh, apropos. Where is it? Well, if anyone can give me the line or two before that, that would be great. I'm looking for it in my Twitter feed, but I don't want to bore people. All right. Yeah, Comey um, twice has said now that uh, 
it was inappropriate her use of email but not um, criminal there was no intent for it to be criminal there has to be intent Lisa thank you I'm glad you're in the world and I welcome anyone who uh, supports Trump this is we're all Americans we're all in this together news at 11 um, you can be the change that you want to see in the world. Use your voices. Amen. Use your actions. Commit yourself to kindness, not toward fighting. Uh, I put up, Ashley, maybe you could put up my dedication to Leonard Cohen. Um, it's been up for a couple years, but it has my favorite songs by him. And if you feel like it, just listen to some Leonard Cohen today. I'm sure many of you already have. Yeah, Gi Giuliani, Christie, and Gingrich just got complete national security clearance from Sharon. It's going to be a long four years. Nancy, you are really, uh, I think, wow, you are so counter to what you supposedly preach in spirituality. So spiritual, there, there are opinions or views or values in spirituality. My values are equal rights for all, being kind to the planet so that it can be kind to us, um, engaging in a peaceful manner. Those are spiritual values, at least as far as elephant and the mindful life and Buddha Dharma are concerned. So Nancy, maybe you're a Trump fan. That's fine. We welcome your articles on Elephant Journal and I will feature them because we welcome respectful dialogue. Um, you then go on to say, bye bye hypocrite. Same with Deepak. Um, now that's a low blow. Come on. That's just not fair. Uh, no, seriously, I've interviewed Deepak Chopra a couple times. You can see my videos of that evil man on youtube.com slash elephant journal nancy bye bye some of our teachers have fallen so nancy what i would remind you is if you have to leave or quit or block or um uh hate anyone who disagrees with you you're a very sensitive person and not in a good way there's good vulnerability but we need to surround ourselves with respectful and i respect you friends who can disagree with us and in a democracy that is literally what it is made up of and that is why the title of this video is Donald Trump is our president and that may be good or bad news as far as you're concerned as far as I'm concerned it's bad news but we need to engage in the reality of what is happening and if you just hide within a yes man if you want media that agrees with you 100% of the time then you're going to have an unhappy life one of my idols, Elvis Presley, there's a wonderful two-part uh, biography of him, The Rise and Fall of Elvis Presley, and the fall begins the moment when his mother dies between the two volumes. And he was a good southern boy, so he listened to his mother. He didn't really listen to anyone else. And the moment she died, he had no one protecting him, no one who could disagree with him, who he would actually listen to, and he surrounded himself with yes men. And if anyone disagreed with him or said, hey, Elvis, maybe drugs, maybe all this stuff isn't good for you, he kicked him out. Who does that remind you of? Hmm. It's a good thing all of us didn't have uh, Twitter. Kim von der Wiesel. Usually these comments on live videos are full of support, constructive remarks, love, etc. But somehow with the live feed of the last night and right now, it is such a different atmosphere. I hope everyone is open to really keep listening to each other. And if you have criticism to make it constructive. Well said, Kim. Beautiful. And uh, I could not be less, I could not, no, I could be less. I am not a fan of Donald Trump, but um, I am a fan of democracy. I am a fan of us facing the facts, feeling the feelings, and then acting in a kind way. And we have to step it up. We have to do more to create a peaceable uh, society that will survive two, four, eight years of Donald Trump, um, let alone the House, let alone the Senate. Reagan himself never had the House and Senate as Republican. So if you think it won't be too bad, it will be. And the only thing that will protect the hens from the fox that has been let into the hen house is us. There's a little quote for uh, Lindsay, Ashley, Carolyn. Yeah, exactly. Gerrymandering is a fundamental problem. We've talked about that, I think, yesterday. Ashley, could you put my videos the last couple days into the comments? And by videos, I mean the blogs of the videos, please. Thank you. Jennifer, got to go supervise kids for lunch hour. Great message. What's important is keeping the peace. 
wish I could watch longer. Yeah, you can always watch any of the videos on youtube.com slash Elephant Journal or on um, elephantjournal.com on our homepage under Walk the Talk Show. Amber, I respect your words. It has been tough. Naomi, res resist temptation when baited to fight. Your power will be drained. Do not lapse into aggression. Do not lapse into aggression. Do not lapse into aggression. Aggression feeds what you're fighting. There's a little quote for you. Uh, Lindsay, Ashley. Heather, we support things like Planned Parenthood. We stand with Standing Rock. We make global warming and economic conservative a top priority. We start at the bottom and work with local government and get candidates that support the issues we care about. We work to abolish the Electoral College because it's antiquated. More importantly, we love one another. Heather, I encourage you to write that up as a list uh, and expand upon it. Elephantjournal.com slash submit, and we will feature it. Anyone here who wants to write. Tina, he thinks that the protesters are paid. I don't think he actually thinks that. I think he just loves to. He did this in the Republican primaries against Republicans. Whenever the Republican audience would boo Trump in a uh, debate, he would say, you're all just paid off lobbyists. He's incredibly good at kind of knifing any opposition below the belt. He's, he's a talented uh, guy. Roxanne, what will need to be more... Un we will need to be more united as a people and band together, be vigilant and more involved. Amen. Uh, what is written on my hat, Rahan Fashid, Fashi, Fasi, is make Obama president again. And now I think I'm referring to Michelle. If you want to get these hats, you're welcome to. They donate, uh, every hat donates to the um, rescuing Mustang horses, which are going through a bit of a crisis. It can't get more American than supporting the Mustang horses, a symbol of the Wild West, wild horses. Uh, Elephantjournal.com slash hats. And it's a little humorous, and it's purple for purple states, bringing red and blue together. Brandy. It is our turn to show the other side how to respectfully disagree, respecting our president regardless of our opinions, something many failed to show President Obama. Brandy, beautiful. Justice, actually, he isn't our president until, until the Electoral College votes. Point taken, but I don't see that uh, changing. The uh, sad present. Bill. People need ways to express that they are dismayed with the election of the candidate. I agree with the call to action, but I don't understand why we would dismiss expressions via taglines such as, not my president. Bill, so I'm not um, insulting any of the protesters. If you watch that video, you'll see how much fun and how inspired it was. It was so powerful. If anyone is feeling dismayed and in pain, I mean, I'm going through periods of just sitting thinking about every, how everything I love is, you know, our environment, our economy, the job, um, joblessness is below 5%. We've come out of a great recession. We've reduced our troops in foreign wars. And uh, now we have the nuclear uh, codes, you know, 10 feet away from uh, the man's uh, smartphone where he, where he can tweet. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a scary time. So anyway, watch that video and you'll find, perhaps, you'll feel how that kind of heaviness can turn into positive and cheerful community action. Yeah, Redford was fired up. A lot of people are saying, get that poor dog out of there. Uh, they don't know Redford. He's incredibly social and he, honestly, I had to pull him away. He was, he was kind of loving it. He does the same thing with music. If you go to a outdoor music, he starts howling and barking. He loves this stuff. Monsi. Hey, Monsi. Monsi is in our elephantjournal.com slash academy. If you want to study with elephant, study mindful journalism. This is all the more important. Uh, fake news being one of the major causes of that someone like Trump could be elected in the first place. Reality show president. I really don't want to be afraid. This is from Monsi. But being a Mexican woman that just became a U.S. citizen, so I could vote, ironically, living temporarily in South Carolina and reading about the hate demonstrations that started to show up around the county, country yesterday. I'm even afraid of going to the park with my son or to the market, still wearing an all-you-need-to-love shirt today. Um, Monsi, um, yeah, I mean, as far as I've read, the protests have been peaceful. There was some um, 
there are some, there are always, you know, our protest last night, there were a whole bunch of frat boys yelling, fuck you, and all this stuff on the sidelines. Um, that was the only sort of aggression I really saw. There was one moment when a protester went out and blocked a car, and a whole bunch of protesters instantly descended on the protester and pulled him out of the way of the car, saying, that's not cool, don't do that. It was a really beautiful, loving um, protest. And people, I think it's okay to feel fear. I mean, you don't need to dwell in the fear, but it's okay to feel like, wow, I love my brothers and sisters um, in the LGBT community or the Mexican American community or the Muslim American community or the African American community. I love everyone. I love you uh, conservatives. My father's more conservative than not. And um, this is a scary time. And so that's the blog I wrote. Uh, Ashley, maybe you can put my blog. I wrote my advice in the moment that it was clear Hillary was defeated before it was even decided. I wrote my advice from a Buddhist perspective how to deal with this. And it's three steps. So Ashley, maybe you can put my blog in the comments. It's titled, There is One Good Thing About Donald Trump. Jeff, I think you should make a religion. Well, Buddhism's pretty good by me. Um, Tina, on a lighter note, love your hat. Awesome. Roseanne, uh, yeah, so if you're feeling upset and angry, I suggest watching that video or maybe reading my blog, The One Thing You Can Do, um, The One Good Thing About Donald Trump. It's okay to feel your feelings instead of sort of ignoring them or pretending they're not there. Chicago, Ireland, Sandpoint, Idaho. Live proud and love hard. I like that, Bianca. Tell your eye, grassroots is never important than now. Exactly, Mary, it's all we got. Steph, the protests were so wonderful, the rest of the world is as shocked and as appalled by the election results as many of you. If nothing else, protesting showed the rest of the world that your entire country does not support Trump's hateful values or are willing to defer to them. As a Canadian, I know the protests earn back a lot of our respect. We're with you, American brothers and sisters. Thank you. You're going to make me cry again. I think a lot of us. A mother I saw last yesterday, a friend, childhood friend of mine, was walking her baby around she owns her own company. She was going to different meetings, and she said, walking between each meeting, she just cried the whole way, there and back. Lauren, I love your message. I'm really struggling with not being so angry, though. I don't struggle. Just feel the feelings. It's okay, and then you'll get through them. You don't get through your feelings by avoiding them. I'm so hurt and heartbroken for so many people that I'm so angry. Read my blog about what to do with those feelings, and... um Maybe watch the video of the protest, and that could be cathartic. Melanie, you can get the hat if you want the hat. It's elephantjournal.com slash hats. Suddenly they're a bestseller. Roxanne, yes. Oh, I'll be in Higgins. Hard to comprehend. Coolest name of the day. Marcy. Ellen. All right. Uh, Andrea loves the hat. We need to enlist our sisters. Without women coming together, we can't accomplish this. Amen, Mary. Uh, Natalie, yeah. I think if it had been Elizabeth Warren or uh, Michelle Obama or someone, yeah, I think it could have been a different result. Hillary was a tough and a weak candidate in various ways, but I think she would have been highly competent, and I think um, all the priorities, you know, equal rights, health care, climate change, would have been addressed in a responsible way. Morgan, thank you for a calming dialogue in an overwhelmingly frightening future. We have so much work to do and love to all the people. It's so important. Elephant Journal has been my solace over the last few days. You could also read Rachel Brayton, Yoga Girl's article. It's very powerful. It earned a lot of hate from the internet. Um, Ashley, if you can put that in the comments. And also any of the other helpful Trump articles. Not all of them. We don't need an overwhelm. Just the really good ones. Okay, Ashley put my article, Data Boy Who Serves. It's um, an article I wrote years ago about sort of uh, the most attractive quality in anyone. I'm seeing a lot of talk about the Electoral College. News at 11, folks, it's over. Hillary won the popular vote. She will not be president. It's not going to happen. Danielle, I am not... I am going to start with keeping my house peaceful, going to raise my children to love and love them, work hard and stay teachable. 
Love that. Work hard and stay teachable. Love you and thanks for this. Love you. And please write that up. I love that. Work hard and stay teachable. God damn. That should be a t-shirt. Naomi, resist being things, uh, being baited to say things that alienate even more. Exactly. Aggression creates further aggression. All right. I think we're going to meditate for a second and then wrap up. Sandy, Cape Breton, I think you're having a lot of music right now, right? My mom lives up in Halifax. Nathan, you so yummy. Yeah, Melanie's issue is a lack of morals. Well said. Um, so, Jill, I actually don't know anything about the safety pin expression of solidarity and the meaning of uh, I'm a safe person. I think we have an article on that, but uh, I have to admit I haven't read up on it in the last few days. Um, I've been doing a lot of political reading, um, but have missed that somehow. So I think we have some blogs on that. Ashley, if you can put that in the comments. I am not all-knowing. Nisa, I hope many people are watching this. The world could use a lot more kindness and love. Well, if you believe that, please subscribe to elephantjournal.com slash read uh, or slash best. That's free. That's our online magazine. Uh, our best stuff is not on Facebook because we can't get everything through the algorithm. If you want this to get through the algorithm, give it a like or a love or a share. But the most powerful thing you can do by far is to get elephantjournal.com slash read. And that is exactly what we want to share. It's our best stuff. Um, so please get elephantjournal.com slash read. Facebook is not your friend. I see so many people blogging their feelings on Facebook. Facebook is where siloization has happened. I'm hoping Mark Zuckerberg and others can fix that. But right now, Facebook is with Infowars and with the leftist blogs and the rightist blogs. It's feeding this sort of hate, this online hate, the memification of quality news, of, of actual fact-based journalism. Sue, you are a welcome calm in a world of chaos right now. Thank you, and thank you, Sue. Exactly, as Aobin said, uh, social media has a lot to answer for. Twitter is uh, makes Facebook look like an enlightened crystal palace. Uh, Marcy, I have to disagree with you. They both were awful choices. We really had no one to vote for. Um, Hillary would have done a lot to support equal rights, to support health care for 20 plus million Americans, climate change. You don't have to love her. She may not be that lovable uh, in that she's not that uh, open or extroverted or charming like Bill or Donald or whoever, but uh, she could have been quite a competent and good president in terms of all the things that at least Elephant and I care about. And again, if you're a Trump supporter, if you're conservative, I encourage you to write in. We would love to hear from thoughtful conservatives and Trump supporters, especially right now. We would love to feature your views so that we can begin to come together in a purple country, not a red or blue country. Abby, good morning from OKC, Oklahoma City. I'm uh, volunteering at and donating to Planned Parenthood. Yeah, they've seen their donations go through the roof because people are uh, terrified that they'll be kind of suppressed or torn apart or un unfunded. I'm spreading love by performing simple acts of kindness. These things I can do. Abby, cheers and amen. Uh, Tina, wow. Thank you for saying that, but we have to address your concern here. I don't think kindness works in the face of extreme and overtly hateful people agreeing with rhetorical aggression. So it's not kindness to um, aggression, but it is kindness with strength, a strong spine and open heart uh, in the face of aggression. That is nonviolent civil disobedience. Gandhi used this to uh, defeat the British Empire at the peak of their power. Um, Martin Luther King use this to change a country and to bend the arc of history toward justice. Uh, Henry David Thoreau wrote about this. Many, many people have used this. Um, An Song Suu Kyi uh, used this. Um, so we can't become part of the problem. We can't return aggression with aggression. When I say you Trump or conservative people are evil, then they see me as evil. And then it just, we don't actually connect. We have to actually connect. And then we can begin to melt and we can begin to re remember that we're all in this together and 
we are all in this together, like this or not, unless we're planning on killing everyone like in a civil war on the other side, we have to work this out. And I don't think anyone, I'm hoping, wants to kill half of this country just because we can't talk to each other. seeing some continued hate for Hillary. Marcy, I think you've uh, drunk the Kool-Aid. You could read uh, some journalism if, you, if you'd like, and I say that respectfully. I don't say that insultingly, but when we're reading fake news, we are drinking Kool-Aid, whether it's fake lefty news or fake righty news. Don't do it. Read journalism, read fact-based news. And then the truth will come out. And based on that truth, we can act. And if we act in a progressive, in a values-driven way, great. If we act in a conservative way, we have different values, great. But at least we're operating based on the same notion that the world is round, essentially. Cordy, you write a lot on Facebook. we got to get you to write on Elephant. I'd love to hear about the your thoughts because I know how concerned you are as a mother. Let's please stop writing on Facebook all the time. Use Facebook to communicate your um, truths or your feelings or to connect with people, but use independent media to contribute thoughtful stuff. On Elephant, we've seen so many blogs go viral. I wrote a blog about how we can react to all of this. It went super viral. It's like it's 70,000 views. That may not sound huge because maybe it's not because that not that many people care about independent mindful media. But if I had written the same thing just on my Facebook wall and I've been at my friend limit for 10 years, um, it would have reached a couple thousand people. So please contribute to Elephant Journal, whether you're conservative or liberal, progressive, libertarian, whatever. Stop feeding the beast. Stop feeding fake news. Stop feeding the siloization of America. Start contributing. This is one of the maybe four or five things we can do to create a kinder, more truth-based nation. And then we can all get together, conservative and Democrat and, uh, and others, and kind of agree to disagree agreeably and respectfully. Elephantjournal.com slash submit. Please stop contributing. So I'm using Facebook to connect with you. It's okay to use Facebook, but remember, if it's free, you're the product. Use Facebook, not in a mean way. Facebook is really great in a lot of ways. It connects people. Um, it's not evil. That is not the point. But it is contributing to the hatefulness and the siloization and the memification of journalism and turning fake news into a profit-based thing. Breitbart News. The head of Breitbart is now the head of uh, Trump's campaign, right? And he may become his chief, chief of staff, making Dick Cheney look like, you know, milk and, and uh, cookies, right? So Breitbart News has used Facebook to become bigger and more profitable than the New York Times, CNN, all this stuff. Breitbart News is crazy. It makes Fox look moderate. It makes Fox look stodgy and kind of uh, fact-based. And as we know, Fox, and I'm not saying this is a liberal, Fox is a nut house. I would say the same thing about, I criticize liberal leftist news all the time. Liberal lefty news is just as biased and crazy. We need to read news without bias. If we're reading opinion, great. But if we're reading journalism, it needs to be um, fact-based. And facts can have opinions. Facts uh, acknowledge that climate change is a real thing. So journalism isn't um, just a boring kind of like everything is equal, everything is great. Journalism can... Um, can be enlightenment in a sense. It can show the truth. So please read journalism, contribute to journalism. Elephant is here for you. You're gonna use it and it'll become bigger and it'll become like John Stewart. It'll become a reference point for everyone in America who wants to get together and work this out or Elephant will go away and that is literally up to you. We're doing very well right now. Many people are contributing, but I see so many of my favorite thoughtful people contributing directly to Facebook. Well, you're getting used by Facebook. Rant over. <laughs> Leonard Cohen. Let's all go listen to some Leonard Cohen. Danielle, I'm crazy. I'm glad to live in Belgium and not the U.S. I totally understand that sentiment. 
uh, and not in the U.S. with the crazy president. I like very much Obama. My only point was that the U.S. is powerful enough for good or for ill that uh, there's no getting away from the effect of what we have just done to ourselves. So, um, you like someone likes my hat? Elephantjournal.com slash hats. Let's get them out. Let's get a little humor out there. Yeah, don't worry. I will run for President Johnny and be badly defeated because I'm Buddhist in 10 or 20 years. Mara. It's time to come together and accept and use in acceptance and use love as your tool. Women have to fight harder and keep at it. We can't give up. We will break the glass ceiling all the way. Amen. I think life gave us a lesson. It's up to us to learn the lesson. There's one of my tributes to Leonard Cohen in the links. Justin, there's nothing. Um, so Justin, I appreciate your comment. I feel like you could be a bit more optimistic about the upcoming presidency. Lead by example. Literally, the title of this video is that he is our president. We need to acknowledge that, and we need to work with him. As Obama said, if he succeeds in creating a, a kind, good, fair country that cares about the environment, that cares about equal rights, that cares about health care access, then we all succeed. But I do not think he will, based on the people he's surrounding himself with. He likes to sit back and kind of be charming and be powerful. He doesn't want to work super hard. He's going to surround himself with... He already is. He's appointed uh, many, many lobbyists are around him. He's going to be surrounded by a, a pack of wolves, of vultures, and they are descending. And um, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing necessarily virtuous about being optimistic. I am open, and you are right. We should all be open to a great Trump presidency, and I am. I no one would be happier than all of us, hopefully, to be pleasantly surprised by how great and kind he could be. But um, being optimistic or being pessimistic, both are kind of what Buddhism would call hope and fear. We can actually just rest in the present moment and see what is. So thank you, man. Ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Uh, I think there's another verse with some sentences um, that kind of connect with the politics in that line from Leonard Cohen. All right, shall we meditate for a second? Give a like or a love if you'd like to get out of here. Because there's so many comments, I don't think I could ever get through all of them. But if I don't get through your comments, wow, you guys are awesome. Um, we will uh, get to them tomorrow. Um, and a big shout out to Veterans Day, to veterans everywhere. I think this is one issue all Americans can agree upon, which is that we need to take far better care of our veterans. Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day, which was about peace, about ending war. And I think all veterans or most veterans will say, I know war, in the immortal words of, uh, who was it, Sherman? I know war, I, I hate war. Um, those who know war hate it most. It's often the most hawkish people in the, you know, there's many great quotes, like old men send, send young men to war. Um, most of the hawkish, warmongering people never served. So thank you to veterans. Thank you to peace. And let us have peace on earth uh, this Christmas time and for the next four Christmas times. All right. Let's um, take a deep breath. Uh, finally, actually, I'll address Zeda Ismatul's question. How will his presidency affect you directly as a white man? So... There's an incredible amount of privilege in those who uh, are white and male, and I acknowledge that. That said, I care about my LGBTQ friends. I care about my Muslim American friends. I care about democracy. I care about Latino friends, and I have many here in Boulder. There's many, many strong Latino, beautiful community here. I care about um, women. I respect women. women. I was brought up by a single mother. And uh, this is going to affect all of us. I care about climate change. I care about future generations, the next seven generations. I care about, um, uh, you know, solar and, and uh, wind jobs, domestic jobs, um, versus continuing to just sort of um, tear apart our EPA. We've seen we have uh, bad water in many of the cities, even in Boulder, uh, that people can't drink. The EPA is in charge of that. And Trump wants to kill it. The Republicans want to kill it. Uh, I care about the Supreme Court. I care about the women's right to choose for the next 30 years. And hopefully all of us can join in caring. 
So that's my answer to you, Zeta, and thank you for your question. So let's take a good posture, connect our sit bones, reconnect with the present moment. The present moment is where any positive action and joy and love can arise from. So let's reconnect with positive action, uh, joy, and love. So connect your sit bones, connect with the sky above, eyes are open. Let's connect with our breath and be kind to ourselves for one moment. Let's reconnect with our present moment. Breathe in and breathe out. This is what the Buddha practiced and he fought against the caste system. Breathe in and breathe out. Taking care of ourselves is a political statement. As long as it's not navel gazing, not selfish, but it's done so that we can engage in a peaceful way. If you find yourself thinking, notice that, acknowledge it, don't run from the feelings, just touch them, see them, and return to your breath. Okay, let's bow to everyone everywhere, whether we agree or disagree with one another. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a huge video. Uh, many, many people are on here, and hopefully we can continue to come together and build a movement, conservative, liberal, progressive, everyone together, libertarian, all realizing we're all into this together. So if you've liked or appreciated this video, please give it a like or a love or a heart or a crazy emoticon face. Please share this. Uh, please subscribe to youtube.com slash elephant journal. I have to acknowledge, uh, or I'm honored or privileged to acknowledge our sponsor, um, Jade Yoga. They, they um, don't make PVC yoga mats. PVC is bad for us. Rubber is kind of like maple syrup. It can come indefinitely from well-managed forests. So let's walk our talk. If you're doing yoga, don't do yoga on PVC for the sake of your children, your own health, pet's health, and the planet's health. So thank you to Jade. And if you use Elephant, uh, Ashley, can you put the uh, discount information? If you put Elephant in the, or Elephant Journal, I can't remember, Elephant, it's in the comments. Um, as the discount code, then uh, you can get free shipping, which is like 10% off basically. So thank you so much guys. The second I hang up, there'll be a button if you wanna get um, notifications on when future videos happen. All right, so let's take a good posture, like a Wonder Woman posture, then relax and give it away. With respect to all of you, especially if we happen to uh, disagree in a respectful manner. Thank you. Give it a like or love if so inspired. And if you want to get a hat, final plug, elephantjournal.com slash hats. Thanks, folks.